Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the very first episode this year of GC at GC. Great conversations at Greenbelt Chapel. Ayan, of course, hindi pa rin nawawala yung adherence ng Greenbelt Chapel dun sa call ni Pope Francis for new evangelization. Ito nga, we have again the GC at GC. Ayan. Diba? Yes, yes. And yes. happy fiesta din. Happy fiesta. Happy New Year and happy fiesta. Happy, fiesta. happy New Year. Yes. 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 Hindi pa tapos yung celebration natin, di ba? Yes. Kamusta so, naman oh. kayo? Ate Puri, kamusta ang fiesta celebration natin? Siyempre, <laughs> masaya kahit may pandemic. Nakapag-celebrate pa rin tayo kahit pa paano. And yes. do you remember ba na yung message sa atin ni Bishop Jose Palma of Cebu? Napanood nyo ba yes. yun? Yes, of course, napanood natin yan na nag-premiere noong January 17 during our fiesta no, sa ating Facebook page. no. So bago tayo magtuloy-tuloy, sabihin natin dahil sa ating mga viewers na please subscribe doon sa ating Facebook page. no. Let's follow oh, yeah. it para sa mga informations pa and announcement ng ating, yes, ng ating chapel. Of yes. course, George, hindi lang natatapos doon sa message ni Bishop Palma. No? We had uh, our fiesta mass. Uh, we have our January own celebration, 17? yes. Yes, oo. No, na nag, ano tayo, na, nag, bisikleta tayo, tama, kasi wala tayong precision this year. Meron tayo. That is actually... Motorcade. Motorcade. Yes, a motorcade. Yeah. Ang saya, that saya, is the time. new, correct. That is the new norm. Okay, new normal oh. for pros, yung precision. Ayan. Oh, Yan yung oh. new normal Ikot, natin. Ikot-ikot talaga tayo, <laughs> di ba, sa Makati, para It lang mas huyo natin actually. yan. Yes, yes, of course. Mm-hmm. At syempre, Uh, George, meron pa tayong isang activity na highlight ng ating fiesta. Actually, oh, yan. Correct. Nagkaroon Uh-oh. tayo ng online concert na kung saan ang ating mga servants ay nagpamalas ng kanilang galing sa pagkanta at pagsayaw. O yan. Yes. Of course. Saan, nandyan din yung sharing ng kanilang childhood, di ba? Oo, oh, yung oh, ating oh. mga tito and titas. Yeah. Hello po. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> sure, no, ako'y bata pa. <laughs> Diba? Yeah. So Last ngayon, extension maalala. tayo ngayon. <laughs> yes. Extension yung tayo extension. ngayon yung celebration. Oo, oh, yes. oh, syempre. Tuloy-tuloy may, pa rin. Yes, dapat may connection kasi dahil tayo ay Santo Nino de Paz. Iko-connect mm-hmm. na natin ito dahil may kinalaman din sa Santo Nino ang celebration ng 500th year anniversary, di ba? Yes. yes. So, so ngayon, uh, before we uh, proceed, let's ano, review na muna yung Um, message sa atin ni Bishop Jose Palma. Yeah. So, let's watch this. We look back to the past 500 years when and the occasion of the baptism of Queen Juana in Cebu, the image of Senor Santo Nino was given to her as a gift. Since then, until this coming April 14, 500 years had passed. And we know it has become part of a wonderful devotion. So, ayun na nga guys, no? narinig natin kay Bishop Palma, no? yung history, no? na ang, the iconic Santo Nino de Cebu was a gift to Reina Juana during her baptism. Tama ba, Ate Pure? Yes. So, yung ibig sabihin, yung uh, Santo Nino image is the oldest Christian uh, religious icon here in the yes, Philippines. 500. So, it's... Yes, 500, 500 years, years old years, na siya. Okay. At nandun siya, sa, nandun siya sa Basilica sa Cebu. O, yes, diba? ng Santo Niño de Cebu. At of course, mm-hmm. yan nga rin ang rason kung bakit kinokomemorate, tama ba? Or inaalala din ng mga taga-Cebu, ng mga kapatid nating kristyanong mga taga-Cebu, yung uh, sinulog, no? Pag sinasayaw ng Reina Juana, yung mm-hmm. image ng Santo Niño. Image. Balita oh. mo, may, course, meaning, may meaning yan, ha? Yes, oo, may meaning yan, no? Hindi yung ang pagsayaw. Step. Yes, ang pagsayaw ng sinulog ay two steps forward and one step one backward. Step. Parang sa pananampalataya yes. lang natin 'yan. Hindi P- puro mukhang kayang-kaya uh, mong forward, sayaw, forward, sayawin 'yan, meron. Forward. Kailangan sometimes mm. we, we sometimes kailangan nating mag-move backward tapos susulong pa rin tayo, 'di ba? Ganyan. Yes, Na- tama. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Ganoon. At yes, of course, sample, hindi lang sinulog, 'di ba? Wag na. <laughs> Oy, nami-miss natin 'yan, 'no? Sa Green Belt kasi yes. natin ginagawa so, 'yan. Ginagawa natin Lag- 'yan sa Green Belt. Oh, oh, natigil lang this year. Hopefully, next year, cross fingers, makapag-ano tayo, yeah. makapag at, uh, celebrate na rin tayo oh, 'yan. Yes. Mm-hmm. At actually, mm-hmm. hindi lang 'yan, Mel, 'no? Hindi lang 'yan yung sinasabi 
I mean hindi lang sinulog yung yung ginagawa in in, in Cebu. Okay, we also have uh, different celebrations in different areas of con- our, our country. We have country. yung dit, um, Dinagyang Festival in uh, San Bato, Iloilo. Iloilo. Then we have the Ati-Atihan in Aklan. And then the Sakay-Sakay Festival in San Bayon, um, Southern Leyte. Ayan. At marami pa, marami pa. Just to commemorate the story of our Santo Nino. Ayan. Yes, of course. Dito din sa Manila, di ba, we have Santo Nino de Pandacan, Santo Nino de Pondo, and of course, our very own Santo Nino, Santo de, Paz. Nino de Paz. <laughs> di ba, dahil si Cristo ay uh, Prince of Prince Peace, peace. di ba? Yes. Kaya, Santo Nino de Paz. Now, I think we should continue with our video, Ate Puri. Oo, pakinggan ulit natin si Bishop. Pa. Looking back, we may ask, what are our learnings? We know that, of course, with this gift is the gift of faith. And when we look back, we can only thank the Lord with the many ways God manifested His love. And to me, I pray that part of our learnings would be a heart full of gratitude for the faith that has come. And then what happened 500 years until today are ways of the fruits of faith being harvested. We, we can only think of the missionaries who came and because of their pastoral zeal, many works had been done for the poor, for the sick, for the youth. Works had been done to build churches Catechesis had been given to, to, to many people. And if you think of hundreds of congregations after the first ones who came, Augustinian, Recollects, Dominicans, Franciscans, Jesuits, the many others who in various ways, women and men religious, established schools, and have shown that this faith indeed bear fruit in love and love was seen in good works or in action. All of these are occasions for us to thank the Lord. So many to be counted. Each one of us can reflect on how we individually and as a community had benefited of the various expressions of faith shown in pastoral ministries and good works and reaching out to people to make them more human, more divine. So, sabi nga niya ni Bishop Palma, we are now harvesting the fruits of our faith. O di ba, Mel? Yun na nga. <laughs> Nag-harvest na tayo. Pero bago tayo mag-harvest na mag-harvest, saan ba tayo nagsimula? Ikaw ba, Ate Puri? Paano ba tayo napunta dito sa ganitong mga gawain? Kasi ako ganito, um, religious yung family ko and I studied in a Catholic school. So nagsimula ako sa mga Vincentian, sa Concordia College, doon ako na graduate, doon ako na receive ng Holy Communion, First Communion ko. And then in college, sa ano naman ako sa mga Jesuita, sa Ateneo. So so dahil doon sa mga Catholic schools na yan, uh, na strengthen yung faith ko, uh, ano yung knowledge ko about the faith, Catholic faith. And syempre, parang naging matatag yung aking ano, pananampalataya. Kaya kahit na yung pandemic, parang okay lang yung tayo nag-go-worry kasi we have a strong faith in God. Tapos yes. kaya ako napad pa dito sa Green Belt dahil naman may go ko sa choir. So yun, nagsaserve ako ngayon dahil gusto ko may share ang aking talent sa pagkanta. Yun. Yes, of course. How about, How about you, George? George? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, sa akin kasi, um, actually, yung, yung hindi ako kagaya yung story ni Kapoor's about yung, you know, um, started uh, in a religious uh, learnings. And to, kasi although uh, nag, uh, I graduated from from a uh, religious school, nag-start lang yung, you know, yung, yung need ko to serve and, you know, to... To, to sacrifice myself in service nung nandito na ako sa Manila actually. Kumbaga, nandun yung parang, I don't know, 
maybe because at some point in my life na parang kahit pa, pa parang at some point nakikita mo na medyo naliligaw ka na and then there is a call you know every every time i go to the church and um parang every sermon every every um humili na naririnig ko meron siyang meron tumatawag sa akin come come sir you have this talent you have this you have something to offer to the church and now i am you know for 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 um i think six or seven years i am I'm, i am a servant of, of greendale chapel siguro and you know being in 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 manila for for about uh, you know eight years already because of that faith nakakaya ko to live independently yeah of Alaya course sa family yes mm-hmm. i think that that's that's the hardest i have tagasan oh, ka george bakit sabi mo malayo ka tagasan ka ba <laughs> i'm from la union ilocano ah oh. <laughs> i am from ah, la union yun, diba i am from la union and <laughs> because of this pandemic just one year one year na ako hindi nakakauwi ay Happy anniversary na ba? Happy na anniversary. Pag- <laughs> <laughs> It's sad oh, actually. Yeah. But Correct, It's diba? A- Oo. Nakakatuwa. Uh, nakakatuwa kasi um, nabanggit ni George nga, no, na he has something to offer. And you also, Ate Puri, you have something to offer. That's why we have. Diba? Yun kasi yung theme nitong taon na to. We are gifted to give. No. So ayun. Ako naman, my own story kasi I grew up with in a religious family no may meron akong tito na pare, may tita akong madre, may lolo akong pare. And then um laki pa ako sa parokya, kalad ka rin sa mga ate at kuya, kung saan dalhin, umaattend na kung ano-ano mga mga forum services, mga 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 talks and whatsoever. Hanggang eto na punta na ako sa Green Belt kasi gusto kalad ka rin nga ako. Gusto kong kumanta ng kumanta ganyan. Ayan. And now I'm here. Um also six, seven years na rin ako I think na nasa chapel and ayun, mm-hmm. still counting, nakakatuwa no. At ayan, sama-sama tayo ngayon. We have this new mission, no, yung new evangelization mm-hmm. through this GC at GC. Of course. That is right. Mm-hmm. So bal- balik tayo dun sa ano sa message ni Bishop Palma. Nabanggit niya yeah. doon yung uh, mga missionaries kaya nag-spread yung faith sa buong of Pilipinas course. dahil sa yes, mga so, missionaries. Sa mga masisipag yes. na misyonero yes. na nag-ikot. Yeah, Kung hindi dahil yan. sa kanila, di ba? Wala tayo tayo mm. dito. <laughs> Oo, yung mga missionaries na yun, sila yung nag-establish ng mga communities sa buong Pilipinas kaya tayo nagkaroon ng mga parishes. At nabanggit yes. niyo doon yung Augustinians. Tamang-tama, yeah. meron din tayo isa pang guest na Agustinian from Order Ayon. of St. Augustine. Nice. Ayan. Uh, At isang mabuting sa kaibigan ng... natin to. <laughs> yes, nagbigay siya sa atin ng video. Itong paring ito ay kilala na sa Greenville Chapel kasi tuwing Santo Nino Fiesta sa atin, di ba, dinadala niya yung mga, ano kasi siya, musician. Mga kids. Eh, oh, mag- dinadala uh, niya yes. yung mga kids. Some, ano, yung choir nila sa Baseco. So, siya yung yes, ano tutulog. Yes, Baseco Children's Choir. Yes, ayan. Oo. So, let's listen na. Na napapakahusay. Na. Yes. So, now let's listen to the, and watch the video of Father Nino Andrade. Na, natataon talaga sa celebration natin. May pangalan yes. niya. Mabuhay sa ikalimang daan taon ng Kristiyanismo sa Pilipinas. Viva Senyor Santo Nino, Viva San Agustin, 
at di ba sa mga Agustino? Siyempre, ibibida ko na. Ako nga po pala si Father Nino Andrade, isang Agustino, at sa kasalukuyan ay naka-assign dito sa Baseco. Maraming salamat po sa pag sa akin upang magbigay ng kakaunting pagnimilay sa ating ipinagdiriwang. We are celebrating the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. And we look back, let's celebrate, and we are hopeful and full of faith for the future. Ito ang ating pagninilayan. We reflect in our past. Ika nga sa salita ng mga kabataan ngayon, merong hugot sa nakaraan, sa paghuhugutan natin. We draw our inspiration from our past. At itong ating titingnan sa kasalukuyan. May mga pangyayari sa nakaraan na ang sarap gunitain. Ang nakaraan din ang magtuturo sa atin ng mga bagay na pwede nating ituwid at panabaguhin sa hinaharap. The past will also change us to be good. Kamusta po kayo? Kamusta po tayo bilang isang sampayin ng Kristiyano? Mayroon ba tayong natutunan sa nakaraan? Napahalagahan ba natin ang ating mga nakaraan? Noong ako ay natanggap sa seminaryo sa Entramuros, yun ang isa sa mga pinakamahalagang moment na di ko makalimutan. Magiging bahagi ako ng pamilyang Agustino. At nung nasa seminaryo na ako sa Entramuros, doon lumawak ang aking kaalaman patungkol sa ating kasaysayan. Sa San Agustin Museum pa lamang, ay lagi akong nag-iikot upang alamin ang mga bakas ng nakaraan at ng ating pananampalataya. Lagi kaming nagtuturo pa noon sa iba't ibang simbahan sa buong Pilipinas na itinayo ng mga unang Priling Agustino. Kamangha-mangha at napakaganda. Ito ay ating masasilayan pa rin sa ngayon na nagsisilbing bantayog ng ating pananampalataya. At ang ilan pa sa mga nagiging ambag ng Agustinong dumating ay ang pagtatag ng mga komunidad at ng mga kabayanan na nabuo ay isang patunay na ang tunay na simbahan ay di lamang ang mga yari sa bato, kundi ang mga komunidad na nananalig kay Kristo. Kahit sa ang dako sa bansa, buhay pa rin ang ating dibusyon at pananampalataya. Filipinos still hold tight to Jesus. Iba ang ating lakas pag tayo ay kumakapit kay Kristo. Sa ganda ng pananampalatayang ating natanggap, sa kasalukuyan, ito sana ang ating pinanghuhugutan. Hugot ng tiwala kay Kristo at hugot ng pag-ibig sa kapwa-tao. Our celebration of 500 years is not that grand as it was planned. Yet, on what we are going through now, anuman ang ating pinagdadaanan sa ngayon, ang 500 years na pananampalataya ay higit na nagbibigay sa atin ng lakas. Tibay, dahil si Kristo ang tunay nating lakas. Ang Santo Nino, ang Nuestro Padre Nazareno, at ang iba pang mga titulo ni Kristo. Sa hamon ngayon, may balakid man, ang pagiging kristyano ay dapat laging isang paninindigan. Ipinaglalaban natin ang katotohanan. Isinasabuhay lagi ang salita ng Diyos at ibinabahagi ito ng buong puso sa paglilingkod sa ating kapwa-tao, lalo na sa mga aba sa ating lipunan. Ang limang daang taon, ay magbigay sana sa atin ng kagalakan. Tayo sa kasalukuyan ang tagapagdala, tagasabuhay, at tagapagsagawa ng misyon ng Panginoon. Our devotion to Santo Nino, to Jesus, drives us and gives us happiness, hope, and strength. The Santo Nino will always remind us that genuine love of God. Marami pang limang daan taon ang darating. Wala tayong takot pagkat kasama lagi natin ang Diyos. Ngunit di tayo titigil at hihinto sa ating misyon. 
Gaya ng mga unang Agustin hong dumating, we should be restless in proclaiming the truth of Christ. Bawat pamilya at bawat mamamayang Kristiyano sa ating bansa, tayo ay itinilaga ni Kristong magsabuhay at magbahagi ng ating pananampalataya saan man tayo naroon. Tanging ang katotohanan lamang ni Kristo ang makapagbigay sa atin ng direksyon at pagbabago bilang isang pamilya, isang lipunan, at isang bansa. We are gifted to give. So, halin na kayo. Let's share and give Jesus to all. Maraming salamat po sa Greenbelt Chapel at sa Greenbelt Community sa pangungunan ni Father John Siscon at sa mga kasamang naglilingkod. Muli sa aking pagpati, happy fiesta po sa inyong lahat at sa atin din sa buong Pilipinas na nagdiriwang ng kapestahan ng Senyor Santo Niño. Diba Senyor Santo Niño? Pit Senyor! Salamat Panginoon sa iyong punla Misyon kaloob sa aming puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon Kami hahayo sa iba't ibang dako Hatid ang iyong salita at paglilingkod Inang Maria ang siyang gabay na mitlukod Lalaganap at lab ng iyong... Okay, so pakaiba yung video ni Father Nino. Father Nino no? Oo nga, na throwback no? So, yes. Ang ganda. At saka ang lalalim actually, ang lalim ng, ng mga salitang binitawan niya on this speech. Oo, And one thing... Message. Yes, actually. And one thing na na akay papan na iwan talaga sa akin when when I when I watch this uh, when I'm watching this uh, message is about sa hugot. Kasi sa panahon ngayon punong puno tayo ng mga hugot, di ba? <laughs> mga <laughs> iba yung iba. Yung mga lahat na lang hugot. Lahat lahat na lang um, nagkakaroon ng hugot. And for 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 his message, kakaibang hugot yung sinabi niya. Actually, it's more of yung hugot natin sa tiwa, yung hugot natin sa tiwala kay Kristo at hugot natin sa pagmamahal natin sa kapwa tao sa sa ibang tao di ba and um, from that message i think um we as servants meron din tayo i'm sure meron din tayong kakaibang you know hugot di ba yes Hugot pa na ng palataya. Pananampalataya sa um, para para as servants, okay? Yes. Ikaw, Ate Puri, ano, ano ang hugot mo? <laughs> ang hugot muna. pa na ng palataya. Ako Ay, ba? Ikaw muna. Um, oh, ikaw ikaw, 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 ikaw daw iba. pala muna. I'm sorry. Baka, <laughs> tuloy-tuloy mo na. Ituloy-tuloy mo na. Tuloy-tuloy ko na. Ah, sige. Oh, oh. Um, ano ba? Siguro yung hugot ko when it comes to yung sa service ko, I mean, as a servant of Green Bell Chapel, is yung, yung You know, yung, yung paano ko bababalansihin, you know, as a professional, as a young professional, and uh, yung hugot ko, you know, to serve. Dati-dati, admittedly, uh, uh, admittedly, dati-dati, halos everyday nasa Gimbal Chapel ako, and then after magkaroon ng swift sa career, um, you know, yung struggle ko on how am I going to balance my service, to Grindel Chapel minsan nahihiya na ako tumingin sa mga mga kanakakasama ko sa, sa Grindel Chapel because of yung madalang na lang akong makita but you know there is some some need na I'm sure that's what I'm praying for kumbaga si si Lord nang gumagawa ng way for me to to still be part of the Grindel Chapel family and of course serve him that's why we um I commit myself at some point kahit weekend I do my part in serving him. 
Yes, of course. Ayan, ayan, oh, ayan. Oh, hugot na hugot talaga, no? <laughs> Parang ang lalim talaga ng pinaghukayan para lang mga mm-hmm. hugot yan, no? Ayan. Ayan, no, pwede na tayo pumunta kay Ate Puri. <laughs> ako na, ikaw Uli na muna muna ako. Eh. <laughs> ikaw na muna muna. Oh, sige, sige. Karina kasi ladies first, eh. Siya yung nao. Ako na, ako actually madami. Madami talaga. <laughs> Gusto mo talaga ako? dito. Tsara, hindi, joke lang, joke Wait lang. Wait lang, huwag ako ang tissue. <laughs> okay, go. Hindi, ang hugot pa na ng palataya. I think, hindi. Kasi, um, maagang na-expose sa parish sa, alam mo yan, sa mga nangyayari sa life, no? Family, career, ba diba? So, um, everyone knows that I'm a freelance artist, so medyo mahirap for us ngayon, no? especially doon sa mga nasa industry ng freelancing kasi, syempre, nag-pandemic, nawala ang mga events, nawala ang mga show, so sobrang hirap mag-cope up. Tapos, syempre, may mga kailangan tayong ano, punan din sa ating family. So, uh, ako, yung hugot ko talagang hirap magpagsabayin. Actually, nung iniisip mo yung dadating na service, tapos iniisip mo yung gagawin mo for for your family, for yourself, for your career, yung work mo. Yes, tama yung sinabi ni George kanin, di ba? As a young professional also, kasi medyo mahirap yung, ano, eh, mahirap yung challenge nung time na to. But then, tama. Uh, yun nga, gumagawa nga ang Diyos ng paraan no para makapag makapagpatuloy tayo makapagpatuloy makapag yun nga, <laughs> makapag continue tayo sa service natin no yun so in maraming maraming bagay no yung maraming bagay yung nag-open up especially this pandemic maraming opportunity to serve hindi lang hindi lang uh, physically pero meron nga tayo mga social medias nga ngayon na yun yung pinoperso din natin no in serving. Ayan na, Ate Puri. It's your Ayan time. Mukhang mo ang pinaghandaan to ni Ate Puri, <laughs> ang higit tayo. Hindi. Hindi hindi di ko pa kasi maisip yung sasabihin ko. <laughs> anyway, hindi <laughs> ngayon kasi yung present situation ko ngayon, parang ano kasi um ako yung eldest sa family tapos uh, ako lang yung single ngayon. Uh, so uh, I'm the one left to um take care of my elderly parents. So parang dahil ngayong pandemic, medyo mahirap talagang bawal lumabas kasi baka makamakahawa, ganyan. Pero since um, pag sinabi ni Lord na gawin mo to, gagawa niya talaga ng paraan para magawa mo. Yes. So ngayon, kahit kapano nakapag-serve pa rin ako kahit on a Sunday lang, every Sunday lang. So yan, yeah, nakakapag-counter pa rin ako sa Green Belt kahit Sundays lang. So yes. yun, sa panahon ngayon, ganun. Correct, di ba? Marami talagang way yung yung marami talagang way na binibigay si Lord para makapaglingkod tayo, para makontinue natin yung Tama. mga ginawa ng mga misyonerong pinakita kanina, gaya ng uh, guest natin na si Father no? uh, Nino. Oh, oh. At saka at some point oh, talaga nga, inahanap mo na talaga siya eh. When, when oh, oh. Every, pag matagal kang hindi napunta, at, I mean, um, pag matagal kang hindi ah, nakakabisita ano na? or what, oh. kumbaga, nandun yung craving mo to, to be part of it. Diba? Correct. Sabi nga nung mga, mm-hmm. ano, mga artist yes. na kasama ko din, muscle memory na yan eh. Lagi, <laughs> lagi mo nang ginagawa oh. eh. No? Lagi mo nang ginagawa. So yes. ayun, nabanggit natin Parang kanina. <laughs> yes, nabanggit natin yes. kanina nabanggit. yung mission oh. at yung social yes. media, Ate Puri. <laughs> yes, oo. Oh, oh. So, nabanggit mo nga kanina yung social media. Mm. Meron tayo sa Green Belt Chapel na YouTube channel pala bago ko malimutan. Let's promote it yes. also. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Makikita natin doon yung mga, of course, yung mga ano mga ma- daily masses natin na, na, nagla- mm-hmm. na, na, na live, no? Mm-hmm. And of course, yung Sunday masses. And of course, yung hindi nakapanood ng binanggit natin kanina na concert. Nandun yes. din yun. Yes. Mas madaling mm-hmm. hanapin kesa sa Facebook. Of course. So, you, please search Greenbelt Chapel sa YouTube channel. Yung sa YouTube. Ayan. Mm-hmm. And moving on. we move on. Yes, moving on. Let's uh, listen again to Bishop Palma for his yung last part nung ano niya, yung message niya about the challenges. Meantime, we ask ourselves, where are we heading after 500 YOC? Again, This is a challenge for each and every one of us and a challenge for our communities because depending on how we look at the gifts we have received, then the challenges, these are the gifts that we share. These are the gifts that we want to uh, tell other people and, and therefore 
uh, we should be open to reach out to them. If you go out to other countries, we call it Mishu Agentes. But I'm sure many of us will go to the periphery. And this is what the Pope calls Mishu and Extra. You know, many of the poor, the sick, the lonely, uh, the ignorant, we reach out to them. This too is mission. And so my dear friends, there's a lot of things to expect. But all of this will lift up to God. COVID is still around. But if we look into our hearts and discover gratitude, joy, the desire to, to reach out to others, the desire to share and to give, if not so much from our abundance, even from our substance, and the invitation to love because we are loved, then this too would be a meaningful way of celebrating the fifth centenary. Nabanggit ni Bishop yung uh, Misho Agentes. Yes, uh, Misho Agentes. Reaching out. Agentes. Yeah, reaching out. So, actually, ang chapel, meron tayong mga outreach projects ngayon. Ngayon, meron tayong social services commission, di ba? Yes, so, ministry pala yan. So, meron tayong mga outreach projects. Like, uh, this fiesta, meron tayong ano, eh, pinagbigyan ng mga meals sa, ano ba yan, sa Paco at saka sa Novalicious yes. yata. Yes, oo, oh, oh, tama. Yes. And of course, we do not forget yung ano natin, di ba, yung uh, project ng Parish. chapel, the Love of Parish Love of program. Parish, no? yes. so congratulations for this yes, year. Yes, it's Congra very successful. Yes. Hindi pa nag-reach mm -hmm. ng ano, ng Pasko. Naka, mm -hmm. ano na tayo, no? Nakahit na tayo At agad. Nakahit na, na natin. Yes, yes. yes. oo. Oh, oh, so, yes. congratulations so, oh, to congratulations. everyone. And, and, Hindi lang sa mga servants. You. At syempre, we think, oo, oh, oh, sa uh, mga ano donors. natin mga parishioners donors Supporters. maraming maraming salamat of course eh nabanggit na yung mission 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 na yan happy po yes. meron tayong mm -hmm. dalawang ano kaibigan na may mission mission di ba yeah so ngayon uh, since um Santo Niño is holy child in english di ba oh, so mga child let's uh showcase naman ngayon mga youth Actually, itong isang ipapakilala ko ay anak siya, daughter siya na isang office mate ko. She's isang only daughter. And meron siyang ginawa last November. Ayan, panoorin natin kung ano yun. Si Nin Nina Rose Sorongon. Hi, I am Nina Sorongon and I am a 17-year-old from San Juan City. I am one of the heads of Aksyon Donasyon, a relief goods drive for the victims of the most recent typhoon, Typhoon Ulysses, that hit the Philippines on November 12. Ali and I, the heads of Action Donation, realized the need for immediate action after witnessing the severe damage left behind by Typhoon Ulysses. On November 15, Action Donation was launched. Action Donation is formed by a core team of six senior high school students from Ateneo de Manila University and Miriam College, Quezon City. These include Imo Roque, Yana Vicente, Jake Garcia, Alexa Dizon, and Ali and I. Action Donation was created with the objective of providing basic necessities to those most affected by Typhoon Ulysses. This is how we found our beneficiaries, Malanday Elementary School and Tanyong Elementary School. Malanday Elementary School is a makeshift evacuation center which housed 400 evacuees from Marikina, while Tanyong Elementary School housed 20 elderly evacuees from San Mateo Rizal. So we sought out NGOs to make our contact to these evacuation centers and we found La Liga Marikina. We began releasing publicity materials which were a call for monetary donations online. And within four days, we were able to garner 71,000 pesos in total. Each pack included two bottles of water, two canned goods, two sky flakes, one safeguard bar, and four shampoo sachets. We were also able to provide 20 adult diapers, 500 face shields, and 100 face masks. As a donation drive came to a close, we all realized our shared passion for service. We were united by a project we now fondly know as Action Donation, and we promise to continue making changes together in the future. With this, we hope to inspire others with our story and empower them to do the same. I am Nina Rose Angeline Sarongon, and I am a child of God. Oh, that was Nina Rose Sarongon from Miriam College. Estudyante pa lang. And we have Bata. another one here. 
Mm-mm. We have another one here. Ito naman, medyo closer to home, closer to us. Kasi anak siya ng isang Greenbelt Chapel servant, then isang lector, si ano, Sister Chrisma. Anak siya ni Sister Chrisma. Let's now watch the video yes. of um, Karen Kalumpang. Yes. Hello, I am Karen Regina. I am 23 years old and I am currently in my second year in the University of Santo Tomas Faculty of Civil Law. We only get to be children once. And if I had the chance to fly with Peter Pan to Neverland, I think I'd be out of my window at midnight. <laughs> Kidding aside, children have a special place in my heart. And I have been blessed and grateful to have been given the opportunity to be with a lot of children from and in various places on and for different occasions but only for the same purpose only for one reason L O V E love indeed love will make you do things for one Love allowed me to initiate handog laroan at chinelas ngayong Christmas, a yearly toy and slipper drive campaign through which many of my friends and my fellow students gained an avenue to share their used toys and or donate slippers uh, that will benefit children from some of the remote places in the Diocese of Dipolog. Love then pushed me to create means for children to have the chance to read books. I started by gathering all of the books I can find from our shelves at home and purchasing some from book sale. However, the goal of a small library seemed impossible. So again, I started sharing the endeavor, the goal, with some of the people people around me and surprisingly happily many of them were actually willing to help and so i was able to get enough book supply uh, these books were shipped to mindanao and a mini library was made available to the children in the our mother of perpetual health parish in manukan zamboanga del norte this then led me and a group of other students to a bigger goal. A goal of not only providing books, but to organize and implement a concrete and sustainable action for children and the youth. Particularly um, to the members of Barangay Kabubu Kabu Kabubuhayan, Nagkarlan Laguna by providing the learning materials to the children um, and promoting the importance of holistic development through play and reading. Again and again and again, love, love, love. Love inspired me to teach catechism to children in Mindanao. My summer breaks would then be spent teaching the children basic knowledge about our faith, the prayers, the Bible, the apostles, the Holy Spirit, the gifts, the fruits, the, um, the saints, the parables of Jesus, the sacraments. We, we would dance, sing, we pray together. And until now, just by sharing a little about it makes me remember all the good, all the good memories. And the summer catechism program has grown into something more, more beautiful. Something that every day I pray that it will be worthwhile. My students before continue to continue in their own capacity to teach other children how to make the sign of the cross, how to pray, and 
what is the importance of the Mass and the other sacraments. And it's amazing that what my mom taught me, I was able to share. And what I have shared, they also give. Love made me hope. Love, love made me believe. Love made me move. See? See how love works. See how love will make you do things beyond what you think you can. Just like Christ, may love inspire all our actions. I am Karen Regina. And I am a child of God. Karen, kalumpang. Anong masasabi yes. niyo guys? Di ba? Grabe. <laughs> it's an um, nakakamangha. I mean, it's at their age, you know, they have come up with the, those kind of uh, project, Sorry. advocacies. And ako, nung bat, nung mga ganyang age, actually, hindi ko pa naisip yung, <laughs> yung mga kabataan ko. Pero at their age oh. siya, at their age, It's really um they are some it, they, it's something they, they are really blessed to be a mm-hmm. blessing with to other people. Oo. Ito nga yung sinasabi ng taon na ito no nung scene ng taon na ito. We are gifted to give no mm-hmm. na uh, at a very young age na na determine na nila or na discover na nila na I am blessed I should be a blessing to others. Correct. No Walang nakakatuwa kasi Walang yes no nakakatuwa no na may mga youth tayo na ganyan, no? Mm-mm. Nakakatuwa talaga na makita na may mga kabataan na aktibong nagpa-participate in giving love, in sharing the love of the Lord to everyone. Mm-mm. Of course. Yeah. And, and of so course, I ha- let's, all, let's also have, uh, I mean, you know, comment yung, yung parents nila. Of course, yung, yung, the way this child, these children, you know, do their mission minsan uh, nakadepende rin yan sa pagpapalaki ng mga magulang nila correct. and how they mm-hmm. are being molded Malaking at an early bagay. age, you know? Mm-hmm. You know? Yes. Correct, mm-hmm. actually. And yan po. So we are very hopeful kasi eto, meron pa rin tayong mga kabataan na marunong mag-respond to the call for help. Correct. And then, may mga talent sila na kaya nilang i-share na yes. selflessly. Correct. So, yun. So, yan. I think we're okay. running out of time na. <laughs> yeah, and, and yes, oo, oh, anong yeah. oras na ba? Nakakabitin no, na kwentuhan, actually. Oh, actually, ang dami pa nating gustong, ano, no, pagkwentuhan, ang dami pa nating gustong uh, ishare din, no? Kayo ba, please, do not forget to comment down dyan sa ating comment section. And of course, uh, continue to uh, follow us on our social media, Facebook, and of course, on our YouTube channel. YouTube. Yes, oo. At bago matapos ang gabing ito, syempre, hindi okay. pwedeng hindi natin makikita. ba? Diba? Marinig. marinig. At marinig ang ating uh, minamahal na chaplain, Reverend Father June Sescon. June Sescon. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. And with that, we conclude our activities, our festivities for our fiesta in honor of the Santo Nino, the titular of Greenbelt Chapel. We thank Archbishop Jose Palma of Cebu, Father Nino Andrade of the Order of St. Augustine of the Santo Nino, the Baseco Tondo community, Sister Karen Kalumpang, Sister Nina Sorongon for their sharings and their testimonies, especially as we celebrate this year, 500 years since the first mass, the first baptism in the Philippines. And we all know that the Santo Nino played a very important part in this historical moment. And the Santo Nino is truly a gift to the Filipino people, to the Philippine Catholic Church. And that is why We continue to pray to the Santo Nino, the Holy Child Jesus, especially at Greenbelt Chapel, we call him Santo Nino de Paz, the Holy Child of Peace, that we may continue to grow in peace, especially now that we are facing a lot of challenges. And let us pray to the Santo Nino that we may not just survive, but thrive. 
not just after, but even during this pandemic, we may grow and thrive and be fruitful like the child Jesus. And thank you to all the servants of Greenbelt Chapel, to all the staff of the chapel for your selfless love and dedication, especially as we try to reach out to the community physically and virtually. And thank you to everyone for making Greenbelt Chapel your spiritual home. Thank you for supporting the chapel, our charities, especially our Lava Parish program, our Stars of Grace, which we usually do every December. And despite the pandemic, we were able to raise 1.6 million. Truly, we are gifted to give and we are blessed to become a blessing because we are all children of God. And that is our message, not just for the fiesta, but throughout our lives, we are children of God. And that, that message, that identity is the source of our joy, of our hope, of our strength, especially during this pandemic. We are all children of God. That is the greatest gift, the greatest blessing, the greatest grace that we can ever receive. Once again, thank you. Happy Fiesta to everyone. And may the Santo Nino continue to bless us.